Correcting diplopia in soft contact lenses, it can be done. Um, you can only correct in soft contact lenses based down prism in the, base, the eye that needs the base down prism. Um, naturally, as you can assume, the lens is always going to settle base down. So um, for soft contact lenses, these are your only options. However, if you have the iPrint Pro, iPrint Pro is a, um, a scleral lens a molding technology that they use here, and it's a US-based company. Because it's so specific to your eyes, and because they get it exactly right, you can put base in, base out, up, down. It's awesome. Um, but again, very expensive. It depends on how motivated your patient is. But these lenses I use to correct diplopia in patients, um, if you have under one prism diopter, you can generally just wear a regular toric lens on the eye that needs base down. Hopefully, your patient will also have astigmatism. So it is kind of a toss-up. <laughs> I don't necessarily think you would add astigmatism to a patient that didn't have astigmatism in that eye just to get the base down, but you could always try. Um, or if they didn't have astigmatism in the eye that needed the base down prism, you can always just order a specialty order, one prism diopter to four. So I'll just briefly go through these cases because I know we're getting to the end of the lecture time. But um, my first case is a patient who um, they were in a, uh, an explosion about 20 years ago, and they have one prism diopter looking straight ahead, and they have two prism diopters when they're looking down because they had an entrapment of some sort. And so I actually did a lot of research and I was saying, okay, we can go with a custom lens that gives him the one to two prism diopters, but conventional soft toric lenses actually have prism in their lens um, just because that's kind of how the lenses are. But if you wear it only on one eye, you get the prism effect as opposed to like when you're wearing them on both eyes, you would have both prism face downs and so you wouldn't get that effect. But thankfully, this someone was watching over me because this guy only had astigmatism in this eye that needed the base down. And so he was satisfied with the biofinity toric. Um, and that, that straightened up um, things for him, especially with his golf game, and he was very happy. Um, my second case is a, another person who got in an accident, had a, a, like some sort of muscle uh, imbalance, entrapment of some sort, and he had about five prism diopters face down. So you can only make up to four prism diopters in a soft contact lens. Any more than that, it's just too heavy and it won't sit on your eye. But I ordered the, this lens, a four prism diopter from Specialized contact lenses, um, and he does get relief with it. We're still working with him because the, the lens is um, thick and he's in a different country, so um, I don't get to physically see him. I can just hear his symptoms and talk to his doctors and, and make suggestions. But um, So we're still working on this with him, but he really does uh, like that. And um, I did link the, uh, if you wanted to go look at Prism and regular soft contact lenses, awesome article. Um, I did link it in this presentation. So you can see up at the top, Biofinity Toric has 0.77 diopters of base down prism. Pure Vision has a ton. So if you're really needing someone with like one to two diopters of prism correction, um, Pure Vision, I mean, will give you that for sure. Um, and this is just like an option so that you don't have to do any custom designs. Um, if you see over on the right-hand box, Acuvue Oasis for astigmatism has almost no prism, um, has almost no base down prism effects, which I thought was very interesting. And you know what it also means is that sometimes if you have a patient in a spherical lens on one eye and a toric lens on the other, and they don't feel right, and you've done everything else, the prescription's dead on, they're fine in their glasses, everything's fine. Sometimes having that little bit of base down prism in one eye creates an imbalance for the patient. So think about that next time that maybe someone is like, they're just not responding to your lenses in some, in some way and they only have a toric on one eye. Maybe they're having a, a prismatic effect. Put them in the Acuvue Oasis for astigmatism because that one has almost no prism.